Let's now move to India and the death toll from the collapse of a suspension bridge in Gujarat has risen above 130. About 400 people were on the bridge to celebrate Diwali, the Hindu festival of light, when it collapsed. Let's speak now to our correspondent, Rebecca Bundan, who joins us from Mumbai. Um, Rebecca, this is just such a, a heartbreaking story. Um, the death toll is rising. Many young, youngsters have died. What is the latest information you have? Yes, a really tragic event and a lot of people were celebrating. It's been Diwali week in India and then it was the Gujarati New Year. There were apparently rituals taking place on Sunday when that uh, bridge collapsed. Hundreds of people had gathered on the bridge and there were also there was video footage that emerged as well that showed some people shaking the the, the bridge and uh, the, just before it, it actually uh, collapsed and it only opened reopened a few days ago on the 26th of October to coincide with Gujarati New Year and it had been under renovation for for seven seven months um, and it was a century old bridge but. Um, really a, a very uh, horrific uh, set of events, those people plunging into the, the river uh, below. And there have been rescue operations that have been continuing throughout the, the day today, uh, overnight as well. They took place with Navy teams, Army, the, the Royal Air Force involved, National Disaster Response Forces and locals also gathering to try to pull people uh, from the river. There were uh, many people who were rescued, but we know that the death toll now stands at at least 140, and it's expected that that figure could rise even further. It's now night here again in India, so rescue operations or, or, or those uh, search operations have had to, had to stop because now actually the chance of finding survivors is, is really uh, very, very minimal given the amount of time that has now, uh, now passed. And it's been very difficult conditions as well for those teams because the, the river below is very, very polluted. It's extremely uh, muddy as well. It's just very difficult to, to access to get uh, visibility um, and we know a lot of the people that were, were killed in this incident were, in fact, uh, women, children, the elderly as well, who were unable to, uh, to, to swim to safety. There are also an awful lot of people uh, who are in hospital as well, having been badly injured, uh, having fallen from that, that bridge that collapsed. Um, and, um, and there are still many, many people that are missing. So in the morning, again, those search op operations will resume, but we may not know the, the, the final death count for some time to come. And it's, it's, it's expected that that will rise as they pull uh, more bodies from the, the river. It's utterly horrific. So you're saying it's now over 140. You mentioned this bridge is over 100 years old. It had been closed for a period for repairs. And then as it's reopened, this catastrophe happens. Any clues as to what actually went wrong on the night? Where did the problem start? Uh, and, you know, I would imagine it's going to be an investigation as to why, after being fixed, it suddenly collapses. Yes, that's right. So investigations have already started. There's been a committee that's been set up by authorities to, to look into this very carefully. There's also a police case, a, a criminal uh, case that's been started, that's been filed as well, looking into this. And we also know that nine people have been arrested today. Um, that those include people who are responsible for the, the maintenance uh, of, the, of the bridge and people who are also, um, also conducting the, uh, the, the events there on, on Sunday when this bridge collapsed, people who are involved in selling tickets and the uh, security as, as well. So people have been arrested. The, 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 the authorities are looking into this uh, very closely because it had been under renovation and under those repairs uh, for seven months. But in fact, the company that undertook those, that responsibility for that, that renovation was uh, known to be a, a clockmaker. Then it had then branched out into some, some other activities, uh, including lighting and so on. But there are questions being raised about why that company was responsible for the renovation uh, of, of such a bridge. Um, everybody's also asking questions of the authorities as well, how they could allow uh, the bridge to open if it wasn't in a fit state. Apparently, it hadn't received its fitness certificate, which is a clearance that's given by authorities. So that suggests that the company never had the approvals to actually go ahead 
uh, and reopen the bridge. But again, people asking authorities how could they uh, allow that to, to happen. But we do also know that the, the bridge was overcrowded. There were hundreds of people uh, who had actually gathered onto the bridge. And apparently, according to local reports, it only had the capacity to hold about 125 odd people. But reports are putting the, the, the number of people who are on the bridge or estimates are saying that probably around 400 people, if not more, were actually on the bridge at the time it collapsed. And there were apparently, and well, there is video evidence that shows uh, that there were some, some people who were deliberately uh, shaking the bridge. But it seems that that number of people should never have been on the, the bridge on, in the first place. So there's questions now being asked of the management. This, there was this private company that was selling tickets to, to actually allow people to access the bridge, and there should have been uh, control, obviously. But, uh, but, but people are very now, people are very, obviously, very keen that uh, those who are responsible are, are found guilty and that they're punished uh, appropriately. Well, thank you so much for that update. Uh, grim as it is, over 140 people now confirmed dead. And as Rebecca explained, uh, that death toll is definitely going to rise after that bridge collapse in Gujarat. That's Rebecca Wundern coming to us from Mumbai this evening.